Hey there, Hoopaholics. Coach Spins here, back in the film room, talking to you today about the pick and pop. It's one of the most common actions around the NBA because so many big men have the ability to stretch the offense out there on the three-point line. So what we're going to hone in on is how to defend it. Ideally, any two-man action like a ball screen or a handoff is guarded by those two men involved. But occasionally, you need a third man in to help out. Right here, that's Brandon Ingram who stunts at Miles Turner on the pop and is able to dissuade him from taking an easy shot. That helper is essentially trained to stunt at the ball most of the times. This is one of two ways that most teams will defend it. That third man in is crucial as he just is trying to make the pick and pop shooter hesitate for a split second. You can see how many times NBA defenders are trained to do this, where it's almost nonsensical and doesn't have much of an impact on the play because everyone knows that it's just a bluff and recover, and no one from the weak side is actually committing to stopping the shot. The best help side defenders are the ones who violently dissuade a shot from happening and make their presence known. The goal is to get the shooting pop man to hesitate just a little bit that lowers his percentage. See here as Evan Turner does a great job jabbing at Miles Turner, which ultimately helps cause the wild miss. There is another way to defend the pick and pop, particularly against lethal shooters, and it involves Xing out. Here Brandon Ingram kind of gets caught midway through as he's going to commit to Marcus Soul, and that forces an X out. Same thing here with the Celtics. Kyrie Irving jumps high side as he anticipates to ice the pick and roll coming from Antetokounmpo. He funnels the ball sideline and Al Horford helps, and Tatum comes in to tag. As he gets caught on Anadokounmpo, Jalen Brown now has to go take Tatum's man, and Tatum X's out and now will take Jalen's. There's danger in these types of plays as they create natural mismatches when you switch across positions. So that third man in comes back again and has a crucial role to play. See Kevin Martin dive into the passing lane here to prevent a direct pass from Paul Millsap to the corner. All that's meant to do is slow down the rotation and maybe force a turnover. Jay Crowder does a great job of that here on Carl Anthony Towns, and ultimately, that forces Towns to pass fake before he fires up a shot from three. Whenever you're thinking about pick and roll coverage, always look at the highest opposite guy ready to tag the play.